Well, Paul, they put you through it again, but a win. How do you feel? Uh, relieved, really. Uh, fair play to the lads. They could have, you know, 1-0. Um, it's quite easy. Well, it's not easy to crumble, but I've seen teams crumble when they're not at their best, and we weren't at our best today, and that, that is uh, for sure. Um, but they kept going, but obviously Birdie got us... I mean, I think we only had two real attempts on goal. We had plenty of corners and plenty of oohs, but not real attempts. So two good goals got us out of it. Um, in fairness, we still in the 94th, 95th minute could have ended up conceding, which is disappointing. But it just felt like it was um, a pitch that suited winter football and we were passing it too much in front of them, never trying to get in behind them and causing problems. And then you, once you stretch the game after that's happened for a few, then all of a sudden you've got pockets to play and all that. We never really asked them. And in fairness, they asked that of us. They played forward, their two forwards worked so hard, uh, pressed our, even our full back. So, uh, and if you ask my defenders, they don't want to play against that. Who does? They're always happy with teams you want to play in front of you. So at half time, we just said to them about, you know, you've got to just try and make the pitch bigger, spin it down the side. Like if every one in every three goes out of play, then so be it, you know. Um, but you've just got to try and put a bit more dynamic in your play. And obviously, uh, um, in the end, we won, so we're, we're pleased on that. But you know, we're not leaving the stadium thinking, you know, everything's perfect. We're not that um, crazy. Well, we talked before about moments being the difference and being yeah. ever so important, and you had the quality in the moments to win it today. Yeah, we did. I mean, obviously, Birdie's goal is 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 something else, and you know, hence what we said at half time. Like with Nat, the ball's gone down the side. We have pace and power. Um, on both sides and with Tom to be fair and um, Nat crosses it for a great finish for Colo which is, which is great but you know we, we weren't creating that first half because there was no urgency in our play which was disappointing so um, yeah so I'm pleased obviously we, we made the changes I thought the subs had positive effects and there was you know I'm not knocking the lads for effort but you know at times when it really mattered you know did we win enough headers did we win enough tackles and we spoke to him after the Reading game about just getting the basics right. If you get the basics right, you know, we're, we're a good team. And But today I don't think we got our basics right enough. Uh, we won and I'm pleased that we won and credit to Cheltenham. I said all week that Cheltenham are like, you know, I think they've won more games than us in the last five or six. They're in good form. They're, you know, they've worked tirelessly and I knew that would be the case. And um, yeah, it made it very difficult for us. So to get a win uh, is good. Um, but yeah, we'd like to think we would play better. But for the fans who stayed with the team, I really appreciate that because you need that when you're not at your best. Corey Blackett Taylor started for the first time. He only arrived on Monday. Is he going to need a bit more time with you? Yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, bless him. I mean, we uh, trained differently to his previous club, and it isn't like a, just a, a drag and drop, which everyone thinks it will be. But um, in fairness, he didn't get hardly any of the ball, so. Um, so yeah, have a week with the lads and, and, and see how we progress and we obviously need to show him things and what we expect. But in fairness I'll be I could show him some of my senior pros what we expect. So I can't say that everyone covered themselves in loads of glory and glitter. So uh but yeah, a good a good day in the end, but um a, a difficult way to get there. And my mum came up from Norfolk today, by the way, and it's her birthday. I I just hope when I get in there, she's still breathing. That might have finished her off. She gets a bit stressed. So, uh, but yeah, win is good, and you know it's another W in the box that um, you know might be the the important one come the end of the season. Who knows? You alluded to ahead of the game having some injury issues, and we didn't see Callum Elder today. How likely are you likely to be out without him? I think we're going to miss him for another ten days. So, um, you know, we obviously had choices whether to play with a three and play with wing backs or. Um, I know Sib's done a good job for me last year at left back. He was excellent, and in fairness, he was our sort of a shining light first half. He kept trying to go forward with it. Uh, he did take risks, but I'm I'm all for taking risks. So, uh, yeah, Callum missed out. Obviously, um, JJ as well. We were worried about Cash. Cash was really stiff. Didn't really do anything on the grass for the last couple of days. So, fortunately, we got Cash through, and without a game till next Saturday, we can um, you know do a lot of. Um, watching the game back with the lads on Monday, a little bit on the grass, and then start building them up for you know uh, the next away game. So, you know, we're going to have some real games here coming up. Like we've got the Shrewsbury, the Stevenies is at home. It will be the same sort of game that we just need to, you know, play a different side um, and, uh, yeah, and play better. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
Sorry. Is that how we're ending it? Yeah. Oh, that is amazing. The timing, you were like, sneeze when I wink. and a... Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Thanks.